So let me introduce you guys to this nature spot I like to go to. I like to call it Three Scoops Pond, because uh, you know, it's like three scoops, like three, three different ponds, and you know, never mind. It's not important. What is important is there's different frog species you can find in this pond, and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, that's too much. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about the northern leopard frog and the green pond frog. But before we get into all that. So we're here with Vinny, and what are we doing today? Uh, we're catching some pond frogs. And uh, we got a challenge, what are we doing? Uh, we're gonna see who can catch the most, or how many we can get by the end of the night. Yeah, we're gonna try to catch as many frogs as we can out of this pond, or I guess these two, because it's like cross-sectioned by this little dirt path. And then, uh, yeah, we'll talk about the frogs we catch, and different species is like bonus, so. You think you can do it? No. Oh yeah, and uh, Ryan is here too. Yeah. So someone decided to catch frogs with his bare hands, even though we had nets to make it easier. Catch of the day. Give him a little handshake. <laughs> Give him a little kiss. We then switched over to the nets, and before you know it, we're catching a lot more frogs. One's on your, like, right in front of you on your left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you caught him. Nice. This guy's color is a little bit more defined. <laughs> Alright Vinny, so what kind of frog is this? This is a, another green pond frog. His color is a little bit more defined though, it's easier to see. Yeah, Ooh, okay. he jumped off, that's fine. So you can tell with these uh, green pond frogs that they're green pond frogs because you'll notice the little green markings right above their upper lip there. And uh, they're very, really variable in pattern. You can see them with spots, uh, you can see them sometimes with almost like a striped pattern. Sometimes they'll have uh, almost no patternation at all. Uh, this one's like a lot darker. Sometimes you'll see them more brown. Um, let's let them go. Come on, little buddy. Get in there. Oh, and a tadpole. See? Two tadpoles. So this right here is a whole different species of pond frog. It's a leopard frog, I believe, a northern leopard frog. Oh, he's making a little noise. I think the best... They're thinner, they're more agile, it seems like. Maybe not, though. Yeah, they're definitely quicker and they're like more jumpy. This guy's even hard to hang on to. He's, he's got such a slender body. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> this dude's muscular, dude. This guy's ripped. This is the chat of the, the pond frogs. You start to see our bucket go from two frogs to four frogs to six to, well, I don't know, take a look for yourself. Oh! We can get him back. Alright, Vinny, Vinny lost one of them. That's alright. Vinny, come put the... Oh, it's so funny watching you guys struggle <laughs> to put him in. Oh no! Oh! There. <laughs> Ready? You gotta hold one, him and two, then... One, two, three. There! Oh, heck oh yeah! Alright, there's only one more we need to catch. He's over there. <laughs> Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. Broski, you can't do that, that's bad for the frogs. You need to let them go. And you're right, we should let them go. And after filming, that's exactly what we did. Okay, so we caught a bunch of frogs. What was the point of all this? Well, other than having a fun challenge, I did want to see um, what kind of species of frogs we can find here in the pond. And what we found out was it was mostly green pond frogs and northern leopard frogs. 
Many biologists conduct studies related to terms like abundance, species richness, and diversity. And we aren't really making a huge data chart because we don't really have enough observations from other animal species, but we can still talk about some of these terms. Abundance refers to the number of any one given species in an area. I would argue Three Scoops Pond has anywhere between 20 to 50 green pond frogs total and around 10 to 30 northern leopard frogs total. I don't think this is entirely representative of the population because there were many nearby ponds as well and this was kind of a small data pool. Now species richness refers to the amount of different species in a given area. Now we only noticed two frog species, the northern leopard frog and the green pond frog. But there was definitely more species and different types, but we really only looked for frogs today. And that last term, diversity, compares species richness and the abundance of a species in a given location. And the species diversity is probably the most important because it shows how healthy or potentially vulnerable a given location is to a certain ecological change. Again, the observations we made weren't really reflective of the species diversity of this entire area, but we're still able to learn about the outdoors and get a little muddy doing it, so I'd say it was a fun time. It's good Pinpoint Wildlife Nation. We're back at it again, catching froglets at the pond. So let's get into that. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into that. <laughs> 